and welcome to Library Drawing Party. This week we're going to be drawing two dog friends. To get started, we're going to take our number two pencil and we're going to work on the first dog's eyes. So this is going to be a half circle and we want it to be about a quarter of the page. So we think of the page as being cut in half and then in quarters. We want it to be a quarter down from the top. We draw a half circle and then we draw a half circle underneath, but we want to keep the points for the pupil and the eyelids and then I'm going to draw the same thing on the other side it's almost like a diamond and since the head is turned we're not going to see all of the eye and then I want the nose to be about halfway down from the page and we don't need to have all of the details just yet we're just trying to place them and see where things fall and if we like our proportions so right now I'm just sketching the outline of the head we have two half circles coming down from the nose and then another half circle connecting for the bottom jaw. And then I'm drawing the nose and then it comes out into the head and then we have some ears that are a little bit raised. curve of the head and let's draw the ears on the other side and we're going to see these ears more clearly so they're going to have more surface area on our page Let's draw the body. Again, we're just drawing a loose sketch right now. We just want to have an idea of where everything goes. And let's draw the front leg. And the front of the body. And then the back front leg. Then let's draw the belly. So it comes up towards the back and then it connects to the back leg. Then we have the back back leg. Just slightly curved. Okay, and then let's draw the outline of our second dog. So I'm going to work with the eyes first. So same thing, we're going to have half circles that are connected at these angles. I have a 90 degree angle here and I'm going to do one on the other side. And then we have the nose. And both dogs are looking in the same general direction. So we want their faces to be pointing the same way. And 
And then we have some half circles for the mouth. It's almost like a upside down heart. And then some curls for the body, and then the back leg, and again we don't want this to be too detailed we're just trying to get a sense of where everything's going to go, and then draw the ear. And the other ear. And the back of the body. Okay, now I'm going to take a step back and see if the proportions match up. My nose looks a little longer than I was hoping for, so I'm going to bring this in a bit. And I still have those two half circles. It almost looks like a sideways B. Just so you can get a little bit closer up view of what I'm working on. I changed my camera angle. And I'm going to rework the nose a bit. You see, we almost have a straight line here, and then it comes and does a half circle. And then there's the two nostrils. And then the mouth. And the top of the mouth kind of like hangs over the bottom of the mouth. So we want to get that effect. This is why it's a good idea to do this part in number two pencil because it's easy to erase so you can make the adjustments as you go along. Okay, this eye looks a little low to me so I'm going to raise it up a bit. I still looks low to me, so I'm going to raise it again. I want it to be at the tip of the first eye, it's the bottom of the top eye. Put that diamond shape back in. And the eyes will start to look more like eyes once we put our pupil in but right now I just want to make sure I have the outline right before I get any more detailed in my drawing. So I'm starting to sketch some of the contours since our drawing is mostly one color dark brown. I want to make sure that I have the shadows right and the highlights so I'm just sketching approximately where I want them to go and also making sure that I left enough room to do those shadows Now, this ear has a bunch of different shapes in it. There's the triangle for the underside with a slight curve. 
Then there's another triangle above. And then there's this rectangular shape below with this like B shape for the edge of the ear. And we want there to be a point here, but we want it to be a soft point. Same thing on this side. We want that point to be there, but we don't want it to be so dramatic because we want it to be showing the softness of the dog's fur. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna add in a bit more detail now. And by adding the detail, it'll help tell us whether our proportions are right or if we need to continue to make those adjustments. So the back leg meets up with the belly and has this curve. And then there's the underside of the belly too, which shows the back back leg, erase this mark here, and pretty happy with my outline, so let's move on to adding more details to our second dog. Now, the nose will be a bit more round. Let me work on that. I want to change the height here. I want this piece of the mouth to be lower than this side. So I'm going to adjust the B, the upside down B. Then I'm going to work on the nose. We have a bunch of folds here, so we want to make sure we get all those folds. Okay. Now, the eyes. Probably be a little bit bigger and a little bit more pushed down. Now this one is very far away, so I'm gonna pull it down, bring it closer to the nose. So you see, we have this like half circle and then this half circle and then, but they're not even. The half circle comes inside of the outer half circle. And we have some half circles above the forehead. And I'm going to fix the ear a bit here. And a nice floppy ear here. So I want to make sure that I get that movement in the ear, lots of soft curves. This 
dog it has some color in it so I'm not going to focus as much on the contours like I did with our first dog but I'm going to add in some lines okay at this point let's fix the finish the eyes I'm going to work on our first dog first. The eyes are the most important part because they show the dog's emotion, where he or she is looking, what they're interested in, what their emotions are. Okay, well, let's do the other side. We want the nice clear outline and then the pupil goes inside. Make sure you leave some white. That's why it's a good idea to do this. And number two pencil. Okay, now let's move on to our other dog. And we have a circle, and then the inside is the highlight, and that's going to show the direction the dog's looking in. So we want to make sure that the highlights match up. They don't have the dogs. Both dogs' highlights do not need to be in the same spot, but we want to make sure that both eyes in one of the dogs so this dog we want him to be looking this way and this dog can be looking a little bit more to the right we just want to make sure that the highlights match up for the dog okay now that we have our outline established and our eyes drawn let's add in some color Now for the color, we're only going to be using two regular colored pencils, dark brown and light brown, and it's mostly dark brown. Let's start with the first dog because this one only has dark brown. So for the places that we drew our contour, I'm going to draw a little bit darker. And I'm using short strokes because this dog has short fur or short hair fur. And let's draw the nose. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hide. So I'm going to outline the nose. I'm going to make the nostrils nice and dark. And then I'm going to put the bottom half of the nose in shadow. And then I'm going to lightly draw over the whole nose. And then the top of the nose has a bit of shadow too. Now the mouth is probably the lightest part of the dog. So we have some dark lines to show the mouth itself. We have the bottom jaw and the top jaw. And then there's some fur that comes up to the mouth. And then there's just some dots from where the nose there's just some dots around the nose now you can do a light base coat with your dark brown across the dog 
So I'm pressing really lightly and it's giving me almost this gray color. It's pretty similar to the number two pencil color that I was using a minute ago. And you don't need to erase your number two pencil lines because they're going to blend in. And you also want to see where you made those contour marks. So I'm going to work on the shadow a bit more. The underside of the ear is going to be completely in shadow. So I want this to be dark. And then same thing on this side. So we have that first triangle that I was talking about. We want some variation in the shadow. And then there's going to be some shadow along the edges. of the dog's ear. And then there's some shadow along the cheekbone line. okay if it looks like stripes right now because we'll be drawing a second coat over this but we want to make sure that we get some of that texture in the face and then there's some shadow along the nose and then underneath ear, the top of the head, okay now at this point we can draw our second coat, we still want to keep some of that variation that this will help blend things and a bit more. I want the eyes to stand out, so I'm going to leave a little bit lighter around the eyes, make it a little bit different. about the dog, which is exactly what we want. Okay, now for the body, 
let's do that same base coat color you can also do a watercolor base coat too we just want that light almost gray color I like using the colored pencils for this because then you get the texture of the paper and you can see all the lines. want to try and keep the lines going in the direction of the fur. Doesn't have to be perfect, especially on this, at this point, because we're just adding our initial color, but the more that you can keep your lines going in the direction of the fur, the better. Okay, now at this point, let's work on the neck. So I'm going to emphasize my outline here. Now there's some shadow underneath the mouth and along the neck. I'm going to add that in, but I don't want to lose the lines that we had, so I'm going to define them a little bit more. Then let me define the leg muscle. And the back leg. And the body. I'm using some slightly longer strokes for the neck shadow. This will help suggest movement since the neck is turned. Work on leg a bit more. Want some shadow. And a lot of short hairs. And let's work on the front leg. You want to keep some of that highlight, but I'm going to capture the muscle, so I'm making a lot of strokes along where the muscle lines are. gonna do the back 
everybody. This is in shadow too. And the neck. Then the belly has almost this S curve. There's even more of a pronounced S curve towards the tail. Although the tail is getting cut off in this picture. And I'm going to darken the fur. And I want pretty short strokes, but this dog has pretty smooth fur. So it's okay if the strokes are really long because then it'll show a continuous line and it'll almost look like there is no fur and just that we're just adding color which is good for a dog with short hair Now let's draw the front back leg and outline this a bit, outline the belly, and the back, back leg, get some shadow and add in more short lines here. And then the front back leg is going to get some more short lines too. And then we have some shadow on the edge here. You can blend it with your finger a bit and erase any smudge marks that fall outside of the dog. Okay, and there's our first dog. Now, for our second dog, we're still going to be using this dark brown. Let's start with the eyes. I'm going to outline what we've drawn with my dark brown. Careful to leave the highlights so we can see where the dog is looking. And I'm gonna draw in the nose. We have two nostrils. And the underside it is in shadow. But we want the whole thing to be nice and dark brown. And let's Draw our B. And some shadow in between the nose and the mouth. Let's add those layers around the nose. And then they come up into that point, just like our upside down heart. And then we have the curves around the eyes. And the curves of the belly. Let's get those ears. We want the ears to be nice and soft. Show the dog is relaxed. 
and curve the back. And let's draw in legs. And I'm going to color them in now. And then I'm going to use that same base coat color. So this light grayish color for the remainder of the dog. So I'm going to avoid the nose for now and the mouth. You want to create a smooth texture for our base coat and we'll add more texture as we go along. Alright, now let's work on the ears for a bit. Just emphasize the, the shadow and the ears. And then let's take our light brown and let's start adding some color. So there's going to be color near the nose and in these layers and then underneath the eye and underneath the ear and down by the leg and then above the other eye almost like my eyebrows and then scattered throughout the fur and some in the leg all right and then let's take our dark brown and add in all of these lovely texture lines this will help darken the fur tone too Nice big fold right above the eyes. And another fold in the cheek. And then the rest of the fur is pretty textured, so I'm going to use some short lines and scatter it throughout. And take a step back. Put it shadow by the mouth and on the nose and adding some And now I'm going to add in the background color, so I'm going to use my rainbow watercolor set. And I'm going to mix some brown with some orange. You can even mix in some gray. 
want that nice and light. And then you can go ahead and paint that on. I'm choosing the brown color so that it goes with the brown that we added to our second dog. light brown color but I'm keeping the background pretty light that we have the nice contrast between dogs in the background and there you have it that's our two dog friends thank you for joining us in this week's library drawing party we have library drawing parties every Wednesday at 7 p.m. we hope to see you again and keep being creative